Hello and welcome to the other 167. This is Dr. Grace Lynn connecting with you from New Zealand. I'm happy to be sharing God's word with you today. The title for today's uh, message is Trust in God's timing. I would like to read one verse from the Bible from Isaiah chapter 60 verse 22. The smallest family will become a thousand people and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. the tiniest group will become a mighty nation at the right time i the lord will make it happen god is saying to you the lord will make it happen at the right time isaiah 60 verse 32 in our microwave world we want everything to be done instantaneously but sometimes that's not god's plan so much of life is about waiting but god is never in a hurry when god forces you to wait for things to change to revert or for things to get better and nothing is happening and yet over and over we are told to wait waiting can be a frustrating experience the most difficult place to be is god's waiting room some of you are in god's waiting room when you are in a hurry and god is not some of you are in a hurry to graduate are in a hurry to marry are in a hurry to have a family or to launch a new business you having big goals dreams and accomplishments what happens when you're waiting on god god is building your character while you are working on your dream project your goal or vision god is working on you waiting on god teaches you to trust in him and also it helps to grow your character delay is not a denial at the right time god will answer your prayer god is working through your waiting that's how he's always worked for his people we see it all through scripture god told noah to build an ark and save his family from the flood but it didn't rain for 120 years God told Abraham that he would become the father of a great nation but he didn't have his first child until he was 99 years old. God told Moses that he would lead the people out of slavery from Egypt but he sent Moses to be out in the desert for 40 years to wait. God shows Joseph a great dream that he would save his family and his people. but then joseph gets sold into slavery and he's falsely accused in prison and he's waiting there for 13 long years later god took him out of the prison and he positions him second in command of all egypt and the promise comes true david was anointed to be a king before he was appointed and he had to wait for 15 long years even jesus christ He waited 30 years as a carpenter before he started his earthly ministry. Delay is not a denial. God's timetable may move slowly, but it does move surely. When God makes you wait, we feel forgotten. Don't worry. It is a common experience. We all go through it one time or the other, feeling that God is not there or at the very least God has forgotten you. We believe that God has given up on you. What you're going through is a temporary problem. God never gives up on anyone. He never ceases to care about you, and your name is written in the palm of his hand. God has concern for you. He loves you unconditionally. God never delays without a purpose. He knows who you are. He cares about you. He has your name written on the palm of his hand. God doesn't tell us the details in advance but God wants us to live one day at a time. God's timing is perfect. He knows the past, the present and the future. If you're still here on the planet, God has a wonderful plan for you. He hears you, he sees you. God knows exactly where you are at and what's happening in your life. He knows how much you can take and how much you cannot. He may not be early but he won't be late. You can never go wrong waiting on God's timetable.
the bible says god has a time for everything when your time hasn't come what do you do trust him when your prayer is being delayed what do you do trust him when it's not god's timing you won't be able to force it but when it is you won't be able to stop it god does not lead us year by year or day by day but step by step he guides our path god is with us in our waiting trust in the lord as the bible says in psalm 37:3 god will open doors when the timing is perfect you can never go wrong waiting on god's timetable you can never go wrong waiting on god's timetable have a blessed week